Where are you going? It's been fun, man. I'll catch you later. Thanks. Hey. Have a good one. Hey, get back here. <laughs> I'm such a shitty actor, man. I. <laughs> are you intimidated by it? No. You seem like it. No, but I just noticed how we're directing a lot of attention to that thing. It's just a nice bike. It is a nice bike. But anyways, we're here to talk about RL and his bike today. Were you filming that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we got Pat here too. You want to hey, say what's up? Happening? Rocking the Warriors hat. All right. Bay Area. Well, his team. Patriot Pat, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. If you start your own live stream one of these days. That's it. My own live stream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know he's stingy with his videos. He won't put them on our page, and they're good. Finally, he finally did one. You know. No, he was doing. He did the other day. He posted that one. Just wanted to show you guys my stealth flyer real quick. Stealth mode blocks flyer. Ninety percent of what we've been shooting lately is Dylan's bike. All the time that we've been doing is putting his bike together, changing things on it. Anyways, <laughs> so we want to show off the new front brake setup that RL's been working on. He's been in the lab working very hard lately. Um, and so we built, or he built, a custom brake bracket for his forks. So now he's running the Magura HS33 on the front and rear of the McCoy. So, um... I mean, I've, like I've told you guys, these things are adjustable in and out, up and down. I did remove the cage, like you can see on Dylan's, the support rat bars. Oh yeah, let's check this bike out real quick. You can check the support bars and this quick release. And this system works really good, but um, you still get a little flex here in the frame when you pull the brakes on and that flex is becoming critical because that's probably like when you're going to loop out and you're going to fall on your ass was when you need that frame not to flex but the way I know that is that we put them on here on the forks this is not the super cleanest bracket but I just wanted to get something to start with um, but these forks don't flex and when my brake lever lever when the brake pads hit the rim my brake lever stops he goes a flex huh can you pull them for us so we can see very nice yeah and see the lever just stops on the back they still flex. You want to show the back flexing? Oh yeah, right. Now the so this brake stopped a lot of the flex that was going on with what happens with all V brakes. Let's see it. You see it? A little bit, yeah. Right, this side's really flexing. Yeah. This bar. And is that the seat stay? Is that what that's called? This is the seat stay, and um, you can feel the softness in the lever when that thing flexes out, and I. It's that's why I did a ran with the brackets in the back and without in the front because um, I wanted to see which worked better. So it's almost a little spongy when it flexes out like that. Very it's, spongy. Yeah, well, yeah, it's just a little. I mean, this brake on this frame, I mean, you're 99 percent of the way there. But yeah. If you want to do it right, um, but this also this has two mounting brackets, okay, that slide up and down. It's a cleaner setup. You don't have those brackets. The cables are tight. This cable goes inside the fork, so it's got a POTS mod. You spin it around. Whoa. No problem. Um, and man, they. I just want you guys to hear this. No squeaking. None on the back, none on the front. Uh, they're super quiet. I had hombres on there before, which they really worked good on my. I had a different pair of forks, uh -huh. but they squeaked. As soon as I put good brakes on it, they were loud. Well, that and was the clear brake cool pads Cool stop too. brake pads, yeah. which, I mean, the braking was pretty damn good with those things, I'll tell you that. Yeah, just, you get spoiled with these hydraulic Maguras. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but anyways, one thing I want to explain to you guys, it's really important is you think, oh my God, you got so much braking power, why do you need that? Well. It's not just the braking power, and yeah, you have unlimited braking power, but you can feather better. The brake is not, it's not like a regular brake where it's either on or off, and it sticks. It's much easier to feather. Yeah. It just, uh, it flows. It, it's kind of just a better product. It does what you want to do. It's almost, well, for the Magura we put on my bike, I've noticed, 
you you can pull it like the lever halfway and it gives you like a little little like a feathering break or you can pull it all the way and it goes hard it, it breaks all the way right so it's like you got two options right which is nice yeah which is real i thought they were going to be too strong but just like dylan said um and then here's the other one especially if you're learning to wheelie and you don't have your finger on your front brake you're going to slam on your back and you're going to be sucking front for brake? air you don't have your finger on your rear brake oh. did i say front yeah um yikes and the other one is is when you're learning to wheelie you don't want to take two fingers or four fingers you want your hands on your bars because you just feel more secure that way but with one finger on a well working brake and you start to go over you can stop it yeah whoa hold on there be abusing your bike well gotta see what it does that's two fingers i have to call the bike abuse hotline so um <laughs> i think it looks really clean And uh, if you guys rode them, man, you'd be like, I get it. I like the way it's looking. The black on the teal and the blue. And the bleeding, they come bled. Probably going to have to bleed them anyways, but you just go online, you watch a video. Um, watch our video. Yeah, we'll have one. Don't. <laughs> well, ours is going to get better. It was pretty messy, but... <laughs> Um, when I did it, when Dylan wasn't there, it went great. When Dylan was there, it was like yeah. fluid all over the place. And that was when you realized we forgot to use that one part afterwards, right? Right. Oh, uh, yeah. No. You're putting words in my mouth. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's trial and error, but they're pretty easy to bleed. Yeah. I mean, you just push it through, it goes into one, and you're done. It's pretty cool. All right, you want to take her for a spin? Yeah, I'll show you how strong these things are. Pat, you want to show us that hand drag you were doing a little bit ago? <laughs> the wheelie hand, <laughs> the wheelie hand drag you were showing us. Remember that? He's like, "What's that?" <laughs> <laughs> you see the thing on his bars after his oh, crash. Yeah, I guess show him after that. he crashed. Mental note. Mental note right there. Break. Don't forget it. So when I get on the bike, it reminds me to put my hands right here. Yeah. Every yep. Every single time. Live and learn. <laughs> yeah. It's pain, painful, isn't it? That painful, pain won't hurts. let you forget. It hurts. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick thing on the brakes. Put what are you my weight do? back. So, the cool thing is, like, when you want to launch yourself backwards, the tire does not roll. Ooh. Whoa, you know, there's no or on. Damn, and that's you hear how I don't really hear how quiet it is. You can't hear how quiet it is because there's no noise. But <laughs> you hear the silence? <laughs> did you hear the silence? Did you get that? The braking power is incredible. Yeah. Did you try it out, his bike? Yeah. You, you rode it, right? Yeah. Yeah, the braking power is incredible. It's so slow. <laughs> did you see that? No. <laughs> Watch Again. This. Again. Again. Okay, both brakes. Whoa! <laughs> Can you do that one on the front wheel where you do the splits and your feet were behind your head? <laughs> oh, that I'm still working on that. I got a my gymnastic coach coming by. <laughs> the same guy that taught that guy to do that 1440. If you guys haven't seen that, Ryan, That's right? Is it Ryan Williams? I think it's Ryan Williams. Ryan Williams is doing a variation of a 1440 over a huge jump. And this other guy did a 1440, which is four 360s, two 720s, and landed it perfect in a contest. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I mean, how can you even count how many times these spins around? Yeah. Yeah, you have to watch it in slow motion. Ryan Williams, I it's like everything is just going yeah. and it's like I, you can't even even in slow motion it's hard to watch Whoa. yeah oh also before we uh wrap up the video we don't want to forget today is the duker's birthday so we should wish yeah, him a duke. happy birthday oh, yeah happy birthday man happy birthday yeah, happy duker birthday, yeah how old is he turning do we know 
his right number, he varies. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's this, sometimes it's that, but uh, yeah, he is, man. He's doing good. We gotta go see him soon again. Yeah, that happy was, birthday, Duke, man. Yeah. I hope you're having a good one. Yeah, I'm really. gonna FaceTime him later, talk to him. You wanna show us anything else on the brakes, or is that about Yeah, I do. Oh, and we haven't really talked about the knee saver bars too much either. We threw the, You threw those on there. Yeah, I will get that. So here's a cool thing. I don't know if other hydraulics have this, but this little thing right here, if I, they call it a pad wear adjustment. So if your pads thin out, you turn it this way and your pads go closer to your rim mm -hmm. without changing your lever position. Right. However, if you want to change your lever position, there's a screw right here and you can adjust your lever position without changing your brakes. I don't know. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. I think it's a good looking lever. Really good for two fingers. Never, never mount it on the bend. I did that. Dylan did it. And we broke this cap. Yeah, I did it? Oh, yeah, remember? On my other bike. Yeah. 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 Well, you told me to do that. So. But the other big upgrade on this thing, I think I've talked about this a million times, is these Haro knee saver bars. First of all, they're tapered. They're fatter here than they are here. They're just super balanced looking, fat, beefy, not super heavy. I got room. I'm still learning to do, what do you got? Hang fives or sideboards or whatever. And I don't have to worry about hitting my leg there anymore. Um, they're perfect width. The bend is good. And it just kind of, man, the whole bike kind of came together. Yeah, it did. And I love this 25 tooth rear sprocket, man. It's almost like there's no sprocket. It's good. Pretty soon we'll be running like a two tooth front <laughs> and a quarter tooth in the back. Yeah. It's smooth. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's minimalistic, you know. I like that, minimalistic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, is there anything else you want to cover? That's about it. Z Coaster's doing good. Yeah. Z Coaster's, man, I love this. I'm really starting to think about that BSD new. Uh, the revolution. The revolution, because on the BSD, if you're doing wheelies, no matter how far you spin back, it, as far as I understand, I could be wrong, but it clicks right into place. You don't have any skip. This has a small skip, not bad. But if you're doing wheelies and you're clicking wheelies in one foot or something like that, that BSD is going to be good. And you can still run backwards. Um, that being said, I just love the hell out of this thing. Um, it's like riding a freewheel, but when you want a free coaster, you got a free coaster. Yeah. And I, I got a 20 degree, what's well, a 20, 33, and a 45 cam ring, and I run it at 20, the shortest amount of slack. And um, it's I don't really have to set mine. I don't have to... Like you're supposed to back pedal and engage the free coaster, but I, I don't do that and it, and it works out. Yeah, I noticed that too when I tried it out. Right? It's pretty cool. So good looking levers. Yeah. Millions of adjustments. Cool, I guess that wraps up the video on your, your new front fork brake bracket, or what do, you, what do you want to call this thing? Just your custom brake brackets. Yeah, it's just the, uh, you know, the Magura cylinders um, with a custom bracket just to keep it super clean. I mean, sometimes you look at it and because everything's black, you don't even really notice it. I'm actually thinking I need a Magura color. Do you think this might be the only BMX bike with front and rear Maguras? One of a kind? BMX or wheelie bike? Either. Wheelie bike, I, I would think the chances are pretty good, but there's always, there's guys out there doing some crafty stuff. Yeah. Very. So maybe it's a one, the only wheelie bike with front and rear. Front and rear Maguras on a POTS mod <laughs> without any cages <laughs> around this thing. This is what Isaac, this is what Isaac wants. I, I think this is what Isaac needs. It would cure all his front brake problems. So we got a one of a kind bike here then. I think that's... That's a good point to end the video on. Yeah, well, next week I gotta figure out, I gotta try to find a just a frame that I can cut up because this frame is gonna be changed quite a bit. Um, this is a great benchmark to start with, you know? Um, and you could ride it just like this and do real good. Yeah. 
but yeah but um i got some changes that i want to try that i've been dying to do and uh i don't want my bike to be down while that's all happening so i gotta figure that one out all right well we'll be back shortly with our next video just want to thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time yeah see you guys pat all right have a good one you okay so pat's riding my bike he's going to tell us what he thinks about the brakes What, what do you notice? Tell me the truth on... It's so smooth. It's just like you just feather the lever on and it's just so consistent all the way through the whole brake. You don't even have to really pull them on like to really... It's just... I like what you like just said. Power assist, power assist brakes. That's what it feels like. All the way through the braking range. All the way through the whole braking range. Yeah, it's that's just, cool. It's, it's consistent. The other disc brakes I have, you know, or actually other brakes have a little play in it. Yeah. You got to get used to that kind of that play, like Dylan was talking about, how you kind of have a spot. And, you know, these right here have, like, and you can just feather them on. It has, oh, it's so smooth. So My hub clicks once in a while. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we got an endo. Right. And you rolled out of it. Yeah, these are nice. How does the bike feel? It feels great. I could ride this bike all day long. I'm serious. I like it. I like the way it feels. I like. I actually like the um, the spacing. It's perfect for a guy like my size too. It feels really good. Yeah. You know what I mean, man. I could ride this all day long. I'll trade your bikes. Well, so Pat, here's Pat's bike. And he has a fat quad. And I'll tell you what, man. I think Todd Lyons is designing this bike. This is an excellent bike. It's a great bike. Yeah, I learned a lot on this bike. And um, I love it. can't say anything bad about it. Big tires. It's just a, it's a great bike. Wheelie's good. Handle's good. Great for jumping. So um, I'm I've not knocking for, anything that Todd's doing. I've had it for a long time now. I've had no problems, nothing, just ride it. Yeah. It's a great bike. Yeah. I love it. Ben. I mean, in fact, for dirt jumping, I like a little heavier bike, and this thing was so solid. I was thinking about making my, my buff Fat Ripper my jump bike. Um, the Haro. That's not a bad idea. The Haro I like um, for wheelies and freestyle because it's lighter. And um, it's just more agile and easier to get around and stuff. And like I was saying before, it's almost like the disc brakes. It's like oh. it's like driving a Corvette. You know what I mean? Like man, you have that braking power, and then you get on this is like a Ferrari. Yeah. Smooth, baby. It's just like so like oh. it's like butter. It really is. I mean, it's unbelievable how smooth that lever is right there. And the braking power you have. And then when you want to get on it, it just stops. Yeah. Know, it stops. And it's quiet. Yeah. Those bars really look good, too. I, li I, I like the way this feels. I really like the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Like the stretch and everything, man. I mean, this feels good. I could ride this. It's in all this. This bike is light, too. I mean, man, it's incredibly light. So this is Dylan's Blocks Flyer. And um, he kind of was going through the same thing of wanting a lighter bike that's a little easier to move around. And so he went with the SE Blocks Flyer. Trying to figure out the wheelies on this. Yeah, it's different geometry. I think the head angle's a little steeper. But he's getting it down. I like that, that bike, that stealth mode. Yeah. Blacked out, looks good, man. Dylan's good at picking color. I know, yeah, he's good. Kids, he does. Huh? Modes, man. I said you're good at picking colors. We had the um, we had the general all set up with chrome rims, and then we put his rims on there. Or he finished his general, and I was like, "Damn, man, that looks good." So BSD sent us new wheels. <laughs> by the way, we don't get paid by Magura. I don't even know those people, but. Be nice if they did, but um, no, we're just looking for best products for make the bike work better. Nice.
Well, I'd say you're getting used to it. Yeah. Yeah. I keep tilting over, tipping over on the wheelies. You're going right through a wind path right there. <laughs> you know, this parking lot's kind of tilted a little bit too when you look at it. On the stripes, it's more even. On this side, it's kind of slanted. I, I knew it wasn't my fault. No, it has nothing to do with you, it's the wind. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the wind. Dylan went with the super, what are they called, the big? Nice. What are the SE bars called? Yeah. Super big honking. They're, the, they're not the big honking, they're the super big honking. The bars? Yeah, they're a little taller than what came on it. Easier gear, Magura brakes, ODI that. grips. Help you pull the front end up a little bit easier. Hey, let's, let's check those grips out. Yeah, the metallic. Really? So oh, yeah. nice. So nice. Um, so here's the cool thing. If well for us, we're switching bars, levers. We're changing everything all the time. And instead of putting WD in these things and jamming a screwdriver in there, there's a screw here, and there's one up there. Is there something on the lens? No. And um, you just loosen those things. This thing slides right off. Wanna wipe that? Man, that's pretty sweet. I was right in the middle of it. Very important. I didn't even know something was like that. Okay. What were you saying? Yeah, so these things are really cool. And look at they don't move, man. And he's got a, anyways, there's a little bolt here, a little bolt here, and they slide right off. Yeah. That's pretty slick. I like that. And we put the taller, we put the super big honker titty bars on here. Those are, Those are badass. the ones off my Mike Buff Fat Ripper. That's nice. Custom paint job. That looks good. You got a scratch. Oh I my know. God. Time to get them powder oh, coated. The Buff Red's coming through. <laughs> <laughs> that Buff Red is strong, man. It goes through. Hey. Any, you could chrome plate it and it'll come through. Yeah. <laughs> Let me check out the blocks. That's a sweet bike. You already told them about your sprocket? In that last video, not this one. So this is from George Knight. Right? Oh, is that his last name? Knight? Yeah. I don't know. Well, Probably it's was. Knight Bike Co. is the company. I know that much. And the guy that owns it's name is George. I just assumed it was George Knight. Yeah, but, that's cool. Um, I like that orange gold. Yeah. yeah. Looks looks cool. Yeah, it looks nice. 33 tooth. It's solid too. It's thick. And here's an interesting yeah, it looks thing. Solid. Yeah, it's that nice. head tube from here to here is taller than my heart. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what the advantage, I think that is done so they can run the oval tubing and they have more surface to weld on without getting into the flange. But um, I don't know. Yeah. All right, it's beefy. And they went to a fatter rear tube on the back, right? Yes. Oh yeah. And those dropouts are clean, man. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, I like that. I like the welds on the frame too. Like SE pegs. Hopefully, you showing the Magura. Huh? You showing the Magura? You guys see that? This is a Magura. Magura. With the support brackets, or they call them something else, but. Hopefully. And it's got a quick release. Yeah. Which, on these bikes, because on the fatter tires, you're still going to have to pull these clamps. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Is that gap supposed to be there? Is that normal? From the freewheel? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, okay. because otherwise your freewheel is going to be rubbing your frame. Yeah, okay. Yeah, those are nice tires, too. Yeah. Uh, those came with it, too. Yeah, these are the Bozaks. They're new SE tires. 2.4, right? Yep. They're almost as thick as those. Those are 2.5. Wow, man, that's, those are nice. Yeah, I like them. SE logos. I know, right? That was good, man. Thank you. You're definitely figuring shit out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're going to 
going to tell you a quick story, but um, I've been referring people to Albies and uh, Flatland Fuel and uh, Patrick and Flatland Fuel. Albies for big bikes, Flatland Fuel for 20 inch. And all the people that have gone there have called me and said, man, you are absolutely right. Those guys are right on the money. They knew exactly what they were talking about. And um, so I just really appreciate that guy. This is a Flatland Fuel. I think it's in Japanese. Oh, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, good, good guys. Anyways, um, Pat and I were working a couple days ago. And he goes, uh, Pat told me that William, William Johnson, that's faux show on faux the show. page. He's a guy, he's a welder that gives me advice on anything I'm dealing with, the brakes or whatever, we talk about it. And uh, he has great ideas and he knows what he's talking about. Uh, but Patrick said, William walked into um, the gas station the other day and he bought, it was a part of the story, he goes, he bought a cinnamon roll. Right. He goes, yeah, he just walked in there, bought a cinnamon roll and then something else happened I'm like, Wait a minute, I know William. And he walked in there and bought one cinnamon roll? Right, that's what he told you? Yeah, well, yeah, he said he went in and bought a cinnamon roll. And I'm like, oh, one cinnamon, cinnamon roll, one cinnamon roll? That was it? Yeah, yeah. one cinnamon roll. <laughs> Come on, William. Yeah. So I hit him up. I hit him up on the line, and I'm like, hey, man. I was talking to Pat, and I heard you got a cinnamon roll at a gas station. He's like, yeah. And I said, that's it? Just one donut? And he's like, well took about five minutes. He's like, well, I had a few. I said, come on, man. There's no way. Oh, I'll have a, a French curve or cinnamon. <laughs> and, uh, so I kept pushing and pushing. And finally, he came out and said, I got a baker's dozen. And he goes, Whoa. it was like the second day, you guys, I just finished the last one today. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that made me feel better because I have the same addiction. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so is that your guys' donut story? So man, we have better ones. Yeah, well, I'll have a maple right bar. Right now, that's it though. I'll have a maple bar story for you next week. Cool.